and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another home bargains haul how how just how did i spend 53 pound and 6p i only went in for custard i only went in for custard and i spent 53 pounds that's not custard custard isn't 53 pounds shouldn't be anyway but you know i saw a meme on facebook the other day and it was somebody saying what are you going to home bargains for and the reply was the home bargains will tell me when i get there so true you go in you come out with stuff you didn't know you needed every time i bought for 53 pound and 6p there are two small items that were one pound 79 each and they do not appear in this haul because they are to go towards somebody's christmas present who might see this so they're uh they're tucked away so yes yeah, so that the, so they're not in this haul you won't see those but they only account for they only account for three pound 58 of the bill so they're not the problem are they okay i bought should we start at the top of the start, start at the top of the seat and work down i bought as i nearly always do nikki toilet rolls they're quite strongly scented they were they seemed more strongly scented the last batch that i got than usual to the point where i unpacked them in the smallest room and then stayed in the smallest room for a small visit and within a few minutes i was like that they're very strong those loo rolls so they fade after that they sit on the shelf unpacked and the, and the scent fades but it was as if somebody had overdosed them anyway they are 18 rolls for three pound 99 they're really good loo rolls. They have structural integrity, which I think is important in a toilet roll. You don't want bits to come off all over the place. You want your toilet roll to hold its hold its purpose and be strong and 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 virility in a toilet roll. You know what I mean, though, don't you? Structurally integral, and they're, these are good toilet rolls. So three ninety nine for eighteen of those. That's a good price. What's next? Oh, rainbow drops. See, there are things in this haul that I do not normally buy. Rainbow drops are one of them. I used to love these as a kid. Used to be, used to, you know, we used to get these. I think they were five p a bag. There you go, showing your age now, Carl. I think they were five p for quite a large bag of rainbow drops. Other people my age will remember. And they had a big bag in Home Bargains, which I think was about a quid. So that just goes to show inflation and all that. But it was nearly four hundred calories for the big bag. And I said to Natalie, I wouldn't stop once I started because they're just like they're just like flavoured rice krispies. You would just keep going. And she said, Oh look, there's some smaller ones. So this is seven plus two free, so nine packets in there. Each packet is ten grams and thirty-seven calories. So the, yeah, the big packet was hundred grams, and that was three hundred and seventy calories. And I would have kept going and ate the whole thing. I know, like that's not the end of the world, but it's a lot of calories for a snack. So these would be 37 calories a bag, portion control. And I am much better these days about just having one packet rather than thinking I've got to eat them all. You're not having them, they're not for you. Hopeful face. Hopeful face. Okay, so they were 89p for the nine packets. So that was quite good, 10p per pack for a little treat. And next up is Natalie's Angel Delight. She wanted some chocolate Angel Delight, so grabbed that. That was 49p. I don't know how much it is in Tesco. It's probably about the same. It's probably not much of a saving, is there? What I went in for was custard. Those of you who watch my calorie crush on a Thursday will know that I am eating differently these days and trying to lose weight. Sorry, that bit of hair is really annoying me. And missing cake. And I did buy some fibre one cake bars and several people have said, oh, have those with custard. They're really nice. I wanted low fat custard. They didn't have that in um, Home Bargains, but they did have these individual packs. So the six pots there, each pot is 110 grams, I think 120 grams, 115 calories. And a fibre one bar is also less than 100 calories. So that would be a 200, less than 200 calorie dessert if I have a pot of custard and a fibre one bar. Apparently you just heat them up in the microwave and it'll be like a hot chocolate pudding dessert. So I'm looking forward to trying that probably in the extremely near future, possibly before I finish this video. I'll finish the video first. So they are 199 for the six pack. I don't think that's the cheapest way to buy custard by far, but it's probably the cheapest way to buy portion controlled custard. I've tied that bit of hair up. Harry Potter cushions. These are 3 99 each. Natalie spotted them and asked could she have them as part of her Christmas present. So I thought they would be interesting to show you guys because if you have a Harry Potter fan in your house, you might want these. They're just little head shaped cushions. They're like the Funko Pops, aren't they? The Funko Pops heads. I don't know if they're made by the Funko people. Just says Harry, Harry Potter on the tag. Um, Warner Brothers and all the rest of that jazz. But yeah, so we've got Hagrid. 
and Dumbledore. And they were three ninety nine each. And those are, like I said, part of Natalie's part of Natalie's Christmas present. So one day Natalie will tidy her bedroom and have lovely cushions on her bed, and and pigs will sprout wings and fly. I can have dreams. I can have dreams. Skinny Crunch. I got chocolate orange, which are delish. I have to say, bear in mind these are a low calorie snack. They are really, really nice. You get uh, five bars in there for 99p. They also come in mint and something else. And this, toffee. Mint and toffee orange and peanut butter i haven't tried the peanut butter ones this is the first time i've seen the peanut butter ones in my home bargain so i thought i'd have a go at these there is also somewhere out there in the big wide world there is a skinny skinny dream bar it's called and it's um strawberries and, and meringue and stuff i'm dying to try those and i can't find them any apparently they sell them in b&m B &M, but i couldn't find them in mine so yeah skinny dream they're in a pink box apparently yeah so these are um the toffee are 68 calories a bar sorry the peanut butter are 68 calories a bar the orange are 74 calories a bar and they're actually really nice i actually actually enjoy them rather than pretending i enjoy them because they're not cake i bought three of these small storage baskets i've got several of these around the home now they're only 99 pence each said she and they're stuck together forever they're 99 pence each. They're nice and rigid. These are to replace some that I've got in my kitchen cupboards. I bought some, they're called flexi tubs that are in the kitchen cupboards. They're still this shape, but they're made of the flexi tub, you know, kind of silicon rubbery stuff. And I've got jars of sauces in them on the top shelf. And when you try and pull one out, they go, because they're flexi, they go blah, 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 and things fall out. So these are to replace that. So those are for the top shelf of the cupboard and I will um, go and put them away in a minute. And put my sauces into those and transfer those you can also put labels on the front of those which you can't on the flexi tubs because they fall off 99 pence each for those oh the next thing is the next thing has gone to work with natalie all butter sweethearts 15 pack there's 15 packs of little tiny little puff pastries and they're individually wrapped in a sandwich box and she's taken them off to work with us so you don't get to see those sorry uh Oh, I bought her an advent calendar. She was with me. It's not a secret. Natalie loves a bath. I really miss having a bath. Um, I don't have a bath anymore for several reasons. One is that our bath is very narrow and I am very wide. And so once I am in it, there is not a lot of room left for the water to be all around me. And it feels a bit crappy. Um, and the second reason is that my knees are or have been so bad that I've struggled to get out of the bath. The last time I had a bath, I really, really struggled to get out because I couldn't push up and raise myself on my knees and it was frightening and um and you don't want to be stuck in the bath that's embarrassing you're naked for a start because that's how I bathe I don't know about you lot maybe you maybe you all bathe fully clothed but I bathe naked because I'm normal and you don't want to have to, have to call for help do you help if I wasn't so fat I'd be able to get out of the bath so I stopped having baths I only have showers now but I really miss a bath to the point where I've considered having a larger bath fitted and having grab handles and all of that put in just to be able to have a bath again Anyway, I digress. Natalie loves a bath and she loves a bath bomb. So this is her advent calendar this year. It is a bath fizzers advent calendar. It says satisfy the senses and soften the skin. Try saying that when you're pissed. With rose, strawberry, lavender and mango scented bath bombs. So there's four different types. There's 24 doors in total, I believe. I don't like, I don't like those modern advent calendars where you have 12 doors. And you're supposed to wait two days between opening one. The point of an advent calendar, the original purpose, I realised the original purpose was not that you'd get plezzies. When I was a kid, your advent calendar just had a picture behind every door. You didn't um, you didn't have chocolate or a gift or anything. But the, the entire point was that it was countdown to Christmas and each door was one day. So these ones that are just 12 feel like a terrible ripoff to me. But this one is 24. Oh, it's really heavy. It was 4 dollars Natalie was with me and was very excited when she saw it. So I think that's a win. And additionally, both of them have always had chocolate calendars. I realise Anthony's nearly 30, Natalie's 24. They've always had chocolate calendars. And as they've got older, they've got less interested in them to the point where they don't open them for seven or eight days at a time. And then they open them and then, and then you know, they don't want them. And last year, Natalie ended up giving hers to Anthony because she hadn't opened it pretty, pretty much all month. So, so she will open this one. I know she will. And she'll like it. And it was 4 99 And I think that's pretty good for 24 bath fizzers. I'm sure they'll only be ickle ones, but even so. I got some Fabulosa, which is a similar thing to Zaflora, and I got Crisp Winter Air. I've never bought Crisp Winter Air before. 
It's very nice and clean smelling. I don't think it smells like winter air. What does winter air smell like? Nobody knows, do they? But it's a nice, clean, fresh scent. And um, and I get through a lot of this. Um, three dogs, dirty floors, dirty, dirty everywhere. And we get through a fair amount of disinfecting and cleaning products. So that's 99p for that size Fabulosa. I got some golden fry gravy granules. These are very exotic, aren't they? Gravy granules. But we were out and we needed some. So I got those. Those are 79 pence. That's a nice big pot as well for 79p. I got some surf. They did not have my coconut surf. You know I love the coconut surf capsules. They're getting harder and harder to find. I think they might be phasing them out. So I've got limited edition Secret Paradise. Again, what the hell does a Secret Paradise smell like? Who knows? Oh, it's quite nice. I've only opened it a bit and the scent's begun to, to creep out at me. Yeah, I like those. They smell... It sounds silly, doesn't it, to say that a washing tablet smells nice and clean? Of course it does. You wouldn't you wouldn't wash your clothes in anything that didn't smell clean, but that's nice. So that's Secret Paradise. I don't know what they describe it as. They don't seem to know what flavours it is, what flavours, what fragrances. Just Secret Paradise. But yeah, I like those. They're not as nice as the coconut ones, but they'll do. Oh, dog treats. Just as the poor arrived, it's time to get to the dog treats. Big pack of the I Love My Dog Dog Chews. And these are always popular, aren't they? Yes, I'm, I'm suddenly I'm, I'm very popular now. Can we all sit? Nobody is sitting. There we go. If you're not sitting, you don't get one. Good boy. Are you sitting? Good boy. And you're sitting down there. Good girl. Good dogs. These are one ninety nine for a big bag. I buy these regularly. We get through a lot of them. The problem with having three dogs and three humans is there's a lot of coming and going and the dogs always pretend they haven't had a treat. They always pretend they haven't had a treat for days and then we, when, when, when the humans actually do converse with each other we're like, oh, how many treats have you given them today? And it turns out they've had six each. <laughs> Some OXO cubes, again, high glamour all the way, £1.49 for 18 OXO cubes. That is slightly cheaper than the supermarket. And I also bought some dog food, and I won't lift that up and show you. You've seen dog before. I bought a pack of butcher's dog food. That was 12 cans for £6.19. I got my usual hair dye. I've been using the Garnier Nutrice hair dyes now for probably 15 years. Um, my natural hair colour used to be mouse. Now I'm pretty sure it's white. It's, uh, it's yes, yeah, so if, if I let it go through, it'd be white all the way through. I'm not brave enough to let it go through because of the interim effect so I keep on dyeing it about once every three weeks with a Garnier Nutrice 3.6 I bought one last Thursday in Tesco's with mum and I picked up a 4.6 by mistake so that's going to go back in to be changed and uh, I got that one for the meantime um yeah it won't be it won't be too long before that's on there I think something I've never tried before are these Dolmio stirring pasta sauces obviously I've used Dolmio before you know I'm, I'm British it's, it's what we eat it's what it's what it's what Italians cry about I was eating Dolmio <laughs> um, but this is just a stirring pasta sauce you just cook your pasta and stir this in smoked bacon and tomato quite fancy that sounded nice and the entire pot is 71 calories so just for a simple dinner I thought I would give that a go not today I don't need it for today's dinner but I did think it looked tasty I will I will mention that when I do um when I do my one of my waffles or whatever I'll mention what I think of that when I try it you guys might eat it all the time you might not need to know what I think of it and next up yoohoo I can't be the only person who calls this yoohoo glue can I surely that I mean I don't know if you're supposed to pronounce it yoohoo or whether you're supposed to pronounce it uhu like uht milk I've always called it yoohoo glue and I've never got any bloody glue in this house when I want some. Never ever can I find a tube of glue. So when I spotted this today, I remembered that I can never find a tube of glue and grabbed it. That is 99p for a tube of glue. So um, give it a couple of days before that goes missing and I have to buy more or, or, or have to start thinking that I want to buy more. Last but not least, I got a can of 1001 carpet freshener. It goes on like a foam and then you just leave it and then hoover it off later. It says no need to vacuum, but I always do just because I think it... I don't know. I always have. Perhaps I won't. Frosted winter berries. I can't spray it because it's a foam. So I, can't, I don't know what it smells like. And you can't smell it through the can. But it sounded nice, didn't it? Frosted winter berries. I'm very susceptible to names of things. They could sell me anything. They could probably sell me a turd in a box if they called it frosted winter, frosted winter berries. Maybe. 
Okay, that's it. That is the haul and all of the haul. Thank you, as always, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I hope I've maybe shown you a couple of things that you hadn't seen before from Home Bargains or whatever. And maybe you've got a Home Bargains near you and you can go and check those out. Um, if anybody finds the Skinny Dream bars in their B&M, let me know. Or they're all their Home Bargains, for that matter. They're pink. I know they're pink. Can't find them anywhere. Thank you for watching. Remember to to like and also if you're not already subscribed remember to click the subscribe button down there and click the bell next to it and then you'll get notified whenever I upload. I upload three fixed videos a week and then I do one fixed live a week and then I occasionally do some other stuff as well so so you never know what there might be me blethering on in your ear all the time if you're really unlucky. Thank you for watching I appreciate every single view and every single comment and um, and I'll be back soon with some more of whatever it is I do here. Take care. Bye for now.